Wanda wasn't at school on Monday, but nobody noticed. She wasn't to school on Tuesday either, and no one noticed except Bill Bryan, who sat in the seat behind her and could now wrap his legs around her empty desk. But on Wednesday, Peggy and Maddie noticed. Peggy was the prettiest girl in the class. She sat up front and did all her work on time. Maddie was her friend. She liked to do what Peggy did. The girls noticed because they had waited for her on the way to school. They wanted to have some fun with her, but she didn't come. It was a little game they had going. We're gonna be late, but she didn't come. You see, Wanda wore the same faded blue dress every day. And then she told us a crazy thing, that she had a hundred dresses. Yes, that's when it all started. This is my favorite kind of day. Look at the seal. Come on, Wanda, I have to open the doors and ring the bell. No, I want to stay here. <gasps> Wanda has a hundred dresses. Where are they then? In my closet. Oh, you don't wear them to school? No, for parties. Why don't you wear them to school? A hundred of them lined up in my closet. Oh, I see. The child has one hundred dresses, but she wouldn't wear them to school. Perhaps she's afraid of getting chalk or ink on them? Goodbye, Wanda. Your one hundred dresses sound beautiful. She even told them she had 60 pair of shoes. 60 pair? Can you imagine? And so every day they'd wait for Wanda and ask her about her dresses. Hey Wanda, tell us about your dresses. They wouldn't have teased her so if she hadn't made up such ridiculous stories. A week went by and Wanda still didn't return to school. And as each day passed, Maddie felt even worse. Okay, class, I need you to get your history books out. Maddie didn't know what to do. That wasn't until the coloring contest. I can't wait to find out who won the coloring contest. Me too, of course. You'll win. I hope so. Look, Peg, this looks like the blue dress Wanda told us about. Yeah, and here's that green one. Boy, I thought I could draw. Class, I need everyone to take their seats. It's time to announce the winners of the drawing contest. First, I'll announce the boys' winner. That is Jack Beagle for his outboard motorboat hanging next door in room 12. Can everybody give Jack a hand? Okay, go ahead and have a seat, Jack. Okay, as for the girls, one girl actually drew 100 dresses. All different colors, all different shapes, and all beautiful. And I'd like to announce that that winner is Wanda Petronsky. Unfortunately, Wanda has been gone for several days. Is there anyone in our class that would be willing to take her medal to her house? Maddie and Peggy, would you two girls take it? I think that's where the Petronskys live. Come on, let's go.
the bed where Wanda kept her dresses. Well, she's gone now. What can we do? Dear Wanda, how are you? Your dresses were very pretty. Do you like where you live now? Do you like your teacher? It wasn't the apology she meant to send, but it was a start. Class, I have a surprise. I have received a letter from a former student. Wanda Petronsky has written us all a letter. Dear Miss Mason, how are you in room 13? Please, Please tell the girls they can keep those hundred dresses. I have a hundred new ones all lined up in my closet. I'd like Peggy to have the green one with the red trim and Maddie to have the blue. Wanda taught me an important lesson that day about forgiveness. Can you believe Wanda gave us these amazing pictures? Yeah, this shows she really liked us. I hope so. Smiled and laughed, running through the tall green grass, saving up our love. She'd drawn those dresses for us even when we hadn't deserved them. I made a vow that night to always try to understand people wherever and whenever I could. I have charity and love for everyone, no matter where they live or what they wear. I've kept that drawing for 60 years as a reminder. I've kept that vow too. At least I think I have. So we searched for hearts of flame Till the day we went our separate way Again and together face the end Burn through the dark like the shooting star Will mark the blackness of the sky Flame will throw fire in our hearts Fire raging like the sun Till the race is run And when the fight is done We will smile like we did when we were children